Hello and welcome to the best of a spa. So um I've done a video like this in the past, but they've put out I think three or four new projects since that time, so I feel like I need to make an updated version of that video. So basically the best of series focuses on my journey, listening to a particular artist, you know, my favorites, everything, albums, songs, um, my biases, and overall just a look back at um, what it felt like and what it was like, you know, getting to know Espa. And I really feel like my initial impression and where I am today when it comes to them there's been such a, a change even when it comes to like biases and all that first and foremost from the get-go I was really impressed by the experimental aspect of their music I was I was really a fan of them not being afraid to be different because and like what their sound is like now, there's still that experimental side to their music. I feel like their initial two albums were really out there. And the opinions were always very polarized. So it's either you liked what they were doing or you did not get it at all. You know, it was a bold choice deciding to include things regarding the lore into lyrics of the actual songs because up to this point yes we've been exposed to laws in k-pop before espa debuted but they took it a step further with actually including this whole world into their music and it i can see how being somebody that comes across the music for the first time that can seem very daunting also because you know usually it's the MV would have the storyline and whatever is going on and when you listen to the album on your own time it's going to be just straight up music but that's not the case with Espa. Espa really leaves through their concept and you know what it is that their lore is supposed to be and I, f I really like the fact that we got to experience that very heavy on the concept side of them, which is very diluted these days. We don't even see the um, alter egos, the AIs anymore uh, compared to um, in the past. You know, I think except from Navis, everybody else we've not seen for a while. And... Um, as somebody that was at first skeptical of the whole thing with like having AIs and all those things and how this can be used for negative stuff, now I feel like it added something to their overall identity. It's something that made them, you know, stand out and be different. Not they are not that they are not different anymore, but I think right now they've become more mainstream in terms of sound you know their music is more acceptable it's still you know a bit different it there's still the experimental side going on the production is still as crazy but they've really dialed down on the um how what word can i use they've really dialed down on the whole lore thing when it comes to the music the lyrics and everything it's still interesting. I don't know which side I like the, the most. If it's like them really heavy with the lower thing or what we have right now. Because honestly, I see the best in both. Um, if you love Espa, whatever they do, you are going to love it. And if you are somebody that really enjoy laws and, you know, having a little bit more with your music... I can see how you will prefer the side of them. But if you're someone that just wants to have great music that you add to your playlist, staying away from the complication of having to understand where we are storyline-wise and the concept and the, theory, and the theories will be something that you will appreciate. 
But for me, I feel like those two sides have to coexist. I'm all for them making sounds and music that is more easily accepted, but I think we should not stray too far away from what makes them who they are, which is that very out there type of sound. But like I said, there's still those elements in their music, but as we progress through the discography, it's becoming more and more something that you will hear, you know, other groups doing. Whereas initially you knew with an ESPA song, nobody else could give you a song like this, just them. But now they have songs that I can see other people doing. You know, it's not a bad thing to do something that is more of a general taste, but I feel like I'm missing that very unique ESPA. But like I said, they still have those elements in their music, but it's not as present like it was at the beginning. Now, when it comes to biases, huh, I've just went through so much. Initially, it was everybody. Then it was more of like Ning Ning and um, Giselle and Karina. But now it's all about Giselle. And I think as the music transformed, Giselle became so much more confident, so much more present. She has so much more charisma now. You know, not that she didn't before, but I feel like she was a lot of time. How can I put this? I think now that she's more confident with the dancing, she's more confident with her overall stage presence, she is more present and more felt in the songs. I think that's what it boils down to. You know, those earlier songs and if you watch like the dance practice or the stages or even just listen to the music and it's it's normal, you know, they were just really rookies and starting up in this whole industry that's so complicated and so complex but now she is in the zone she knows who she is. she knows what she can do and i am loving the newly found confidence her dancing has improved so much uh, overall presence and delivery on the songs have improved so much that right now when it comes to espa giselle is all that i see when it comes to my favorite albums I would say that number one is definitely girls. Um, I thought it was my world for a bit, but no, girls is actually the superior album. Why? Because for me, girls is that album that gave me exactly what I want and what I love about Expa. Girls is experimental, but there is a glimpse into a bit of more. I think the shift started from there, you know, from girls, and then we get to um, my world, which is a bit more, you know, easier on the ear and everything. So for me, girls is just the perfect expert album. It has everything that you could want, you know, great production, amazing vocals, amazing just sounds it's very catchy it's very interesting the the lyrics and the story that it tells and it's just a fantastic album number two is my world my world is phenomenal um for a while it was my number one but now it's back to number two i think it was more so the shock value of it because this is that album this is the shift that's where the music really became something different because from the moment where my world came out we got something more you know classic girl group type of vibe from espa so the music is still amazing the production is still good but you know because i love the experimental aspect of girls i like that album more but in terms of quality i would say it's kind of similar and i just love the shift i love the sound and i love everything um and also you know it just it was so perfectly timed because 
Another thing is, as much as I love them being out there and experimenting, they also need to be able to expand on the sound and, you know, try different things and not always give us the same thing over and over again. Otherwise, it just becomes boring. But with that album coming out, it was like just a window into a new world, you know, into something new, new sounds, new experiences with Espa. And number three would be drama. Now, this is such a surprise for me because initially, and if you see in my review of the album, you will know I mentioned this there, that although I found that album to be really good, it did not hold a candle to the two albums that I mentioned before, in my opinion. But now that I have time to actually um you know sit and listen to more of the album i start i started you know to see the 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 i don't want to say the value of it because it's kind of diluting my point but i i started to see you know what else it could be for me and i just love how the album grew on me this is definitely one of those albums that the more you listen to the bigger your appreciation for it is going to become. So the album is really nice. Um, there are still some songs that I'm not a fan of, but overall, it's a very nice experience. Now, when it comes to the ultimate ESPA playlist, I would say that there are 16 songs that everybody should have on their playlist. You know, 16 ESPA songs you should know. So before I start going down the list, I just want to say that I'm going to split this up into two because of copyright, obviously. So there's going to be a first part, this one, going from 16 to 9, and then a second one that's going to focus on my top 8. Now, also, I'm not going to be playing two of the songs on it because if I do, this video will never see the light of day. Those songs are just kryptonite to any type of content that I do, and that's any songs that related to their very first album. That's an automatic block on YouTube. I don't know why. Now, lastly, I want to say that I am going to be singing along most of the time, and don't be surprised if you just hear somebody in the back singing along to the song. I love the song so much and this whole entire video is all about having fun anyway. I've had time to review all the discography and those videos are you know available on the channel now is the time for fun so don't worry that i don't have the best voice out there don't worry that i am obviously going to mess up those lyrics just vibe with me and you know let's go down to the list and then later on you can tell me in the comment about your favorite in the entire discography how many out of my list that I can also find on yours and, you know, all the great things about Espa that you may want to say in the comments. So, it's time to start and what better way to start our top 16 than with Dream Come True.
number 15 is drama. Yeah, yeah. I'm the drama. Ziggy, ziggy, zag, I'm new. Cause a girl, be keep it, keep it, it's true. Neck around, no, none of it's in talk. See, never know, no, don't go zoom. Hold up, what? Oh my god. You say, what? Catch up, You better watch out, only need me cause I'm boom. Tell it, I go eat some food. La la la, like me when I roll. La la, like me when I'm savage. La la, like me when I go. La la, like me when I'm pace. Hold up, bitch, we got a soul. Da 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 da, tell him I got run. Go funny, rat da 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 I'm taking your own One, two. Number 14 is Salty and Sweet. Number 13 is I see you. I 
Number 11 is Black Mamba. Number 10 is energy, um, but like I mentioned earlier, I don't want to take risk. <laughs> so just know that 10 is energy and 9 is spicy. Uh -oh. Too spicy. You want my A to the Z, but you won't.
and that was my number one let me know in the comments how many favorites we have in common so far and which song you think is going to end up my number one overall